Hey everybody, Hooker TV X, Common Sense. I'm gonna say some shit I haven't said ever. Ever. Subscribe, like, and comment, and share. I rebooted this channel to try and save the youth. It may be in a harsh way, but it's necessary. You can't put a kid in the corner no more. They'll turn around and blow your fucking head off with a Draco. You get what I'm saying? All that soft shit. Oh, okay, you don't gonna be on punishment. Punishment? This nigga just killed two people. You tell my goddamn punishment? He punishing you. And I do this for the situation that happened with my son to where he's doing 30 years in prison at the age of 16. No driver's license. No shot on his 21st birthday. Uh, no rental. He ain't rented nothing. He ain't nothing. So everything that we do and, and it's easy to us, his kids is never going to see that. All that nice shit is over. Support it. We got to save these kids, man. It don't matter if we only save one. At least we did something. We could go up there with our little one save, and guys are going to kick us right on through. And we're going to go hang out with everybody. Toast up and shit. It's not going to hurt. Let's get it going. Let's get it goddamn going. Every kid and youth deserves a shot at life. Thank y'all for y'all time. Hey everybody, Pookie TV X, Common Sense. I'm sure by now everybody done seen Orlando Brown shit. Uh, we speak on Orlando Brown a lot. Uh, he got a lot of shit going on, a lot of shit he um, dealing with, demons and you try being raised and make believe your whole goddamn life. Go ahead, try to be raised and make. And then when you get out to the real world, as they say, when you come out of the military, shit different. Shit, shit, shit ain't hitting the same. Shit ain't hit the damn same. You seen too much at a young age. And what they doing is breaking him down. They breaking this brother down and making him look like he a fucking nutcase. And I don't believe he is. I don't believe he is. The same thing happened with Cat Williams, remember? Every week, Cat Williams was going to goddamn jail. Somebody was doing something to Cat. Cat was snapping off, fighting kids, playing soccer and shit. And he never got convicted. He never got convicted. He wasn't treated as they had treat uh, a Denzel Washington or a Will Smith or he wasn't treated like that because he wasn't on that playing field they was on. So shit different. And everybody can sit there and joke and laugh about Orlando. He talking crazy, he talking this. Nigga, at this point, nigga, everybody goddamn crazy. Everybody goddamn ridiculous. Everybody goddamn don't know shit. They so focused on bullshit, they ain't paying attention to the real life shit. They trapped up in these goddamn stories, these goddamn headlines, these goddamn they're not reading between the lines, man. They're not reading between the goddamn lines, man. Shit crazy, man. Everybody can laugh and joke. And... That's what's wrong with us. We don't help, man. We don't help each other, man. We exploit each other just like they do. And then we get mad when they do it. The fuck? The fuck is you talking about? Nigga, everybody do that shit. 
comedians from back in the day. Now, it's comedians now that got um, Richard Pryor in them, Eddie Murphy in them, Mark Lawrence up in them. Because that's what they seen, that's what they was raised, that's what they grew up on. We quick to shut each other down, man. I don't get that shit. I don't get it. The same thing they do. They'll use a motherfucker up till they can't use him no more. And then discredit him and make him look fucking crazy. Make him look like he a goddamn nutcase. He was a nutcase when he was racking them goddamn views. When he was using his goddamn shit and racking them goddamn views and shit, he wasn't a nutcase then. I don't understand us, man. I really don't, man. I worry about the wrong goddamn shit, man. You know how many homeless people is out here? How many kids is out here? How many people dying in these streets? It's sad. Hey, when is enough enough? When am I going to say, man, you know what? This is some bullshit, man. This is some goddamn bullshit, man. And if you notice, it's always about us. Always about us. You rarely see them talking about a white person. Or, and they scared to talk about Jews. They, 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 they definitely not going to talk about no goddamn Jews. They definitely scared of that. They definitely not talking about no goddamn Jews, nigga. They, nigga, they know they'd be fucking done. They stay far away from that. They like, man, they ain't talk kind of like, what the fuck is he talking? Why is he saying that? Because you got the right to, nigga. The fuck you mean? They scaring y'all, backing y'all down from saying what y'all really want to say. So now y'all festering that shit, and then you pour it out on your own people. Pussy ass motherfuckers. Nigga, grow some goddamn balls, nigga. Shit, nigga, what the fuck, nigga? What the white people say? Your vote count, right? So your goddamn thoughts and opinions count, nigga. But they back you down, scare you the fuck out. You be scared to the motherfucker. Oh, shit. I can't say that word, so I'm going to just say the J. You know, the J's. What? You talking about Jordans? No, you talk about Jews, nigga, but you scared to say it. What big boy say, man? You shaking like a stupid boy, tighten up. I mean, I don't understand it. Yeah, I can't say that word, so y'all gonna have to figure that out. Nigga, now we playing games? Now we playing games. Now we playing words with friends and shit. Like, what the fuck? Back in the day, nigga, you go in there and you, and you talk shit about a gay person, nigga, loud as fuck. You give a fuck who hear it, nigga. Now you nigga, shh, shh. Hey, man. Hey. That nigga gay over there. Shh, don't look at him, nigga. What y'all scared to lose? I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. When does the shit flip and everybody become bitches? And now everybody that was talked about and doing the dumb shit is becoming the goddamn popular kids. They got, they got these transgenders in your kid's school teaching them how to use dildos and shit. And y'all still scared to say something. You ain't at none of the PTA meetings. You ain't at none of the, 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 the school council shit. You ain't at none of that shit. You scared. You won't even write a goddamn letter. You don't even put your goddamn name on it. Um, this is to who was ever is intended to uh, see this letter from uh, John Doe. Yeah, John Doe. Um, I don't believe y'all should be putting this shit in the kids' school. So take the shit out. And send it. It's your kids they teaching that shit to. You don't have a say so? <laughs> Sad. But you could go rah rah shoot a hundred clips inside of a nigga face. 
But let but let a Jew or white man walk up, nigga, you bow your head. Yes, sir? Sirs, we don't do nothing around here, sirs. Man, open your car door for you, sir. It wasn't like that back in the day, man. And y'all scared of human beings telling y'all something when God showed y'all. Showed y'all. Showed y'all what he would do to gay shit packers. He told y'all. Blew that bitch sky high. And told the man and his wife, don't look back and what that nosy bitch do. What that nosy bitch do? Turned around and got turned into a goddamn salt pillar. Being nosy. He told you to go walk straight, don't look back at that shit. Y'all didn't believe him? So you believe in these people pushing it now? You no different than that bitch. Shit's sad, man. Y'all were the side with human beings, nigga. Than God Almighty. We making it easy for the fucking Antichrist. He said, yeah, I got these niggas, man. Don't worry about it. We got this shit. Yeah, they do whatever we say. Yeah, we gonna drop about 100 choppers out there for them. Yeah, give them some lean. Make sure they stack up on that. Give them some pills. Fuck it. Put all the fentanyl in it. Nigga, fuck it. Put all the fentanyl in that shit. Give them a few couple of millions. Watch this. Cities tore down. Not they cities. Where they don't have not one liquor store. Nah, not they shit. Not they shit. You have to goddamn go to a winery to get some goddamn liquor in they city. Or, or, or order you some. In ours, you can go two streets and get liquor store right there. I'm gonna go over to this one over here on the corner. Ridiculous, man. Orlando Brown, hold your head up, man. Hold your head up. We all got crazy people in our family, nigga. Something fucked up in our family, nigga. We all got it, nigga. We all got it. We may laugh and joke about it, but nigga, once you once you start talking shit and trying to get on, nigga, we on your ass, nigga. On your ass. It's just sad, man. Common sense, man. They're making it bigger than, you know, they're making it so big now. The, the, even the charges and what they're saying, it's just, it's, it's bigger than who I am now, so. What do you think they're doing this for? You were talking, talking to the elevator, what do you think they're doing it for? Why are they doing this to you? Because, I mean, the way this country is successful is if we have one set of rules and everybody follows them. If anybody gets outside of that set of rules and they're in a the public view like I am, you know, it, it may, it's like detrimental to everybody following the rules if, if I'm representing, like, to what, what they think is that I represent lawlessness and the outlaw mentality and I represent that thug mentality from the street. So they feel like if they can punish me, then it'll punish people who are not as brave as I am, who don't speak out against, who about, uh, speak out against things like me, who are not scared to walk through the streets with no bodyguards. See, they need to put me in jail. These other guys, they don't have to put in jail because they can arrest them on smaller things. They can't arrest me on no small things. They got to frame me. They got to do things like this. They got to have... You know, 30 charges and none of them have to do with me. You know what I'm saying? How can you, if you really, while all these cameras are here, everybody go something to grow on. How am I going to forcibly do anything to a girl after she did it to me consensually? And that's not something I'm making up. That's what they said. They said that. The girl came to court and said she did this, she did that. She called my hotel. It was good. She said that. Not me. Now, why am I going to force her? I mean, this is common sense. But no matter what happens, innocent or guilty, my life is ruined. Because when they say, whatever they say in this verdict, y'all are not going to make it front page news. It won't be bigger, no matter what. All that you want to hear is that he's guilty, he's in jail, the reign of terror is over, the outlaw is gone. That's what they want to do. So it's, I'm, I'm starting to think, I don't know which story to read. I don't know if this is, you know, about, you know, black and white and, 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 and loud and quiet, or is it about me and this girl? Because if it's about me and this girl... Come on, we shouldn't even why, be here. Coming down the elevator, why you complain. Why would she make something like that up, though? Why would she make something like that up? Because hell have no fury like a woman scorned.
You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm guilty of a lot of things. I'm guilty probably of being a male chauvinist pig. I'm guilty of probably um, not caring as much as I should. I'm guilty of not spending enough time with people like I should. But I'm not guilty of rape. Just because I don't want to be with that girl don't mean that she has the right to say that I did all these things that I didn't do. You know what I'm saying? Just because, I mean, of course I can't spend my life with all the girls that I, I you know, I, I, I spend time with. But I'm not married. You know what I'm saying? That's not a crime for me to be promiscuous. It's not a crime for me to be with any girl I want to be with. It's a crime for that girl to turn that into a rape charge. But don't you think the circumstances here, yeah, don't you think the circumstances here that is, is what once is done? She wasn't prepared, she says, for what happened to her, and it wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, so she wasn't prepared for what happened to her. Where are those people that did this? They were all in the same hotel as me. They were all right in the same room as me. Why am I the only one in court right now? Why is the cameras all on me? And in the report, in all these charges, I didn't do nothing. I'm, I'm charged with being in concert with some guy. Well, where they at? Why me? Because I'm too pop. No, I'm not angry at them. I'm angry at the system. I don't want nobody else to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to go to jail for something I didn't do. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to be the scapegoat. I just want to be, I want to be, only way I've, I've been practicing my whole life to live my life is to be responsible for what I do. I don't know how to be responsible.